Hey guys, Vivi Chan here. Hope you guys are doing well. So, it's been a couple days, but I'm ready to get back into that One Piece greatness. We're going to be doing episodes 893 and 894. And I see that episodes 895 and 896 is the side story, so I'm just going to watch it on my own. And uh, I don't know, are they still going to give us that same magical animation that they did in the previous episode? Because, you know, like some maybe like this, the animation was only for episode 892. I would love to see see it in the rest of the arc right how great would that be i mean like i'm looking at the thumbnail and it already looks really colorful so i'm i'm expecting great things like they set the bar up high like toei animation whoa i don't remember that they showed us tama so it's kind of unfortunate that they show us in the thumbnail but i'm excited either way and uh let's go in okay play That opening, though. I haven't actually, like, got a good chance to listen to it. I was just so sh... <gasps> what in peace, Wano Kuni arc. Oh, I guess they did show us Wano in... I mean, they... They did show us Tama in the opening, but like I guess for some people who are anime only. Yeah. Oh, now I'm seeing like more characters like Oh. Oh. Okay, I see the king and the queen and And I'm guessing that's Orochi. Yeah, but like they're showing like quick glimpses, so it's not like, you know, sticking in my head really well. Oh, shoot. Oh, my goodness. I don't even remember this because last time all I remember was there was a dragon. Okay, because you know everything was just so big, amazing last time. I couldn't even focus. Oh god. Oh my gosh, I'm wondering like in the manga like, where are we now? I can't even imagine because I only know about like you know that first fight. <sighs> Yes, yes, with the curtains, like a play. Yes. Listen, guys. Kurozumi Orochi. She's a Like, they look like they're in a drawing. It's... Inoshishi. Oh, 
Oh, it's they're kind of like those monkeys. Like remember at Zoro's um, where he trained with uh, Mihawk. <laughs> oh yeah, he just came out of the whirlpool. Yeah. Oh, that was like a strange transition. Oh, the colors. Oh my goodness. It's so colorful. Like rainbow popping colors. Oh my god. Like, I know Whole Cake Island was also rainbows, but this is so colorful. I, I don't know how to explain it. You gonna start... Or stop it. Well, for once, you were trying to call Kim on, but then... <laughs> yeah. I wonder what happened to that octopus. Lucky you, Sanji. <laughs> oh, they actually did jump. Oh. Come on, man. You can't leave Choniki behind. Let him be. Chopper's too pure. Yeah. <laughs> You're still playing with- Oh no, not Brooke! <laughs> hey, you're trying to get the ladies. Yikes. <laughs> That's true, but this is just- Yeah, Storm. Aren't you worried about Luffy the most? He's not worried the least bit. Oh, so they actually jumped to a safe... And then, you know, Sanji's got his soda fire legs. But did the taco save him? Like, I don't remember. Yeah, how exactly did he end up here? Like, did the whirlpool just, like...
Oh, damn. <laughs> well, it's like, we'll, we'll, we'll meet someone soon. Won't be the same unless he fights with his own. That's right. Oh my god, the aura! You just need one hit and bye bye. Oh shit! Oh shit! What? Holy smokes! He. <laughs> this is this isn't his like usual like little gust attack. This is like a whole storm, tornado, hurricane thing. True that. Oh my god, you gonna put someone in a bag. Oh, they just showed like the little shadows. Uh... Yeah, those are, yeah, hawk and eyes. Ha, huh, like that's gonna work. so good i can't wait if they do one of every single straw hat like I'm expecting like music to play, but it's still like quiet. Huh. There we go. Moochie the whip. Yeah, escape. Oh, 
<laughs> Sounds like the B word. <laughs> oh my god, so cute. Oh, once again, like the colors. I don't expect her to be that color. It's I wonder if the baboon actually, like, understands. I mean, like, he, he's killing Luffy. He's picking up the gun, but, like... Just... I just want to know, like, at what intellect is the baboon? Like, why... <laughs> ah, it's not important. You want to hear a real roar? Uh... There we go. I was waiting for that. Like, you'd expect Luffy to use that against, like, those henchmen. But they probably might want to show him fighting a little bit. Yay! We're friends now! Don't hurt us! Don't hurt me! We're, we're all friends now! <laughs> so this is how he makes friends with all those people back at the Amazon. <laughs> all the animals, yeah. One pirate that you can't even shoot. And you let a little girl hit you? I never imagined purple hair. I always think of her in like brown, black, or blue hair. Like with the other guy, she's like, okay, I can still hit him and get away. But Luffy's like, I surrender, I surrender. <gasps> oh, Tama. As long as you don't attack me, I'm cool. How can you resist? Oh. The news. Have you heard? Have you heard? Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, the the incredible Zoro Judo cut the magistrate. <laughs> Frankie's like face palm. Why? Why? Nope, nope, I was so wrong. Franoske loves it. Oh god. Look at the way Lobin's talking.
there, there's a face plant. <laughs> they show like three panels of like the shock. <gasps> That'd be fun. Excuse you. He totally fits in with that traditional. <laughs> uh. oh. Oh my god, if she says like Luffy Onichan, that's so cute. She has tamed the beast. Yeah, the Luffy theme. Yay! Yeah, but it seems like she's got some kind of special powers, which I'm not too sure. Like, I, I, I meant besides, like, making a dango, which I know, like, when it first started, like, people was like, hey, her, her devil fruit is kind of similar to Katakuri. But I think there's more to Tama, and we'll see more later. Aniki, that's a nice ring. The Nichan thing would be too much. <laughs> Aniki. Well, would would you rather be a Nichan? Yay! That was a cute way to finish it. Alright, we're doing episode 894. Pacing wise, it feels okay to me, but there are certain few scenes that are a bit slow pacing, but I don't mind it as much. Alright, episode 894, play. Oh my gosh, the opening. I don't know, the opening just, like... Yeah, I, I'm I'm be honest, I'm gonna need a few more listens to it to, like, get really, really into it, to be honest. But the animation is just so superb, I just don't really, like, think about it. Like, just look at this art. Yeah, anyways, we're introduced to Komachio, the baboon. I don't think they said the baboon had a name, right? So I'm just gonna call it baboon. And uh, Otama, which is like the cutest kid ever. I mean, there's been a lot of kids. Oh, also the fact that we see ourselves as flashbacks. So, yeah, but 
Yeah, she seems. Well, I know she's gonna be important, but I'm not sure how if if she is related to Kozuki or not. Like, I don't know that because、uh, she did say like、uh, one day the Kozuki will come back and like teach you lessons to、um, the baddies. Yeah, Hawkins men. And、uh, yeah, I don't know if Hawkins knows for sure. He just knows there's a trespassing ship. And、uh, man, Zoro just like killing it. That dragon twister looked fantastic. Whoa, yeah, like they could have just made a, I mean, nothing as simple, but like they could have just made like his usual twister. But man, there's like was there was so many shots where like whoa, it it just it's so good. I can't say much anything more. Just yeah, and.、Uh, Yeah, I'm. I won't be surprised if after this arc, Zoro becomes the most popular character. Cause every year, like Luffy is Luffy has always been number one, which is a good thing. You want the main main character to to be the best, and then Zoro has always come close. I think the last time though, or last last time, Law beat him, but this time he'll make a comeback. I, I Zoro has a chance with this. Man, I'm loving that purple on her. Anki, I knew she was gonna call him Big Brother, but in my head, I always thought she'd say like Onichan or something. Anki, I like the sound of it. Anki, 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 Anki. <laughs> That is so cute. Oh, and I love her little action. She's adorable. Look at the eyes. You can't resist. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, oh, oh! I I know what this is. I know what this. Oh shoot! I can't wait for them to just go into it. Don't hurt us. We're we're friends now. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Life's hard as as it is. Stealing candy from a kid. Well, it's not candy, but damn. Mmm. And then that's when she said it. He, they who must not be named was just named. But she's got guts saying that, cause everyone knows not to say that. But first, always food. Yay! It's that adventure theme. Let's go. I hope so. <laughs> I mean, I hope not. Oh, I guess they named the baboon Hihimaru. Hihimaru.
You're looking at the back of the man who will be the Pirate King. <laughs> she knows. She can see something special about him. Yep. Kunoichi, let's go, nin nin. <laughs> no! Luffy, I thought you loved ninjas. You should be into it. But, like, he wants to see magic. I get it. He wants to see ninjutsu. Oh. I don't know if this is a new soundtrack, but it's really beautiful. Man, her cooking the food. I mean, when life is as hard as it is. Holy freaking hell, that's a lot of rice. I mean, it's little for Luffy, but... Don't waste any of that rice, Luffy. Yeah. Yeah, look. Anyone with a long nose is Usopp, or related to Usopp.
She's freaking hungry and... Yeah, he did notice it earlier, like, just a little bit, but I don't think he was really focusing because he was having so much fun with Tama and stuff. God for eighth year old birthday but a Luffy ate it all in one go but we didn't know yep the master she didn't even eat a single bite she could have like Split it a little bit, no. Poor baby, Another reason to save this country. Another reason for taking back the Kozuki name. But Kaido's people, you know, higher ups, there's other people. They're waiting for someone to come back. Is that Kiemon? Is that. Oh, oh! Flipping hell. Okay, now <laughs> let's hear that backstory. Shit! You carry back the legacy. Oh my! God. Please, please give me another one, Luffy. Come on, let me hear it. Oh well. I mean, Zoro's nice, but I thought like we see like more. I don't know if it's always gonna be Zoro. Anyways.
I'd love to hear more about Ace's adventure. Yeah, Luffy, you just... <laughs> you broke the girl's heart and she was already physically broken. Yeah, but that's how Luffy is, just very blunt. Uh, yeah, you can't exactly do so. Is it Kiemon? Tell us, tell us. Drake, yeah. I was thinking Hawkins. Yeah, there's Drake here too, damn. Yeah, and he can transform into like a Velociraptor, was it? Or was it a T-Rex? I think it was a Raptor. Damn, how can you destroy this beautiful land into this deserted, desolate, yeah, place? This is so sweet and a great way to bring Ace back into the anime and tell us a story with Tama. Oh. You're a proud Ototo, proud little brother.
Basil Hawkins. Is that a good idea? Oh, what a place. How had to it. He thinks he's strong enough to take on Luffy. I don't know if he knows about Luffy's new bounty. Oh, oh my gosh. Otama is absolutely adorable. I just love the way she calls Luffy Aniki and then, like, the way she's all, like, hyper and so positive, jumping everywhere. Like, I mean, tough times uh, calls for tough choices. And, you know, Tama, whole year. She's eight. She's doing a job she's weaving baskets for food to get what little money for herself the only time she gets to eat is her birthday and new year's and because luffy saved her life she she decided to give all of that food like these the huge huge pile of food right there she gave it all to luffy to eat like not one single bite out of herself and she's so hungry but she tries to hide it with like all of her positive positivity and happiness and you know she's so hungry she hasn't eaten for days can you imagine not eating for days like many days gosh and just like this desperation causes her to drink from the river and you know the river is poison from the toxins and pollution of Kaido's factories I don't really remember what they're making in there for sure because like I don't think it smiles because like Doflamingo was doing that, but like I'm I'm not for sure. I don't remember, or maybe they didn't touch on that where I left off. But anyways, Hitetsu he tells Luffy all of this, and Luffy's like kind of shocked, and he finally like turns around and he realizes, oh man, this this place is just so like beaten down and like in in ruins practically. Like all the houses, like this used to be the Amigasa village, and it's been like destroyed by Kaido's men by X Drake. It used to be like a rear admiral. You know, I don't know, like, his motives for leaving for leaving the Marines and everything. But, like, I'm just... I don't know, he's still a pirate, but it's, like, because it's interesting. Because he he's, like, an ex-Marine. Anyways, that story with Ace. What it is about One Piece. Like, it's partially the music, the animation, and the fact that I love these characters so much. Like, I cry. Like, you could show me, like, an emotional scene from a newer anime. But because I don't have as much of a connection with those characters as I have with the One Piece characters, it's not as easy to cry like you could show me a really happy scene and I'm just like tears of happiness you show me a sad memorable scene I I'm still crying because there's just so much emotion from that you know like seeing Ace being happy like Ace has always been people's favorite characters like even though he passed away like he still be like ranking like I think within the top 10 in like the last two three polls because people still want him back and i think like oda has made i think i'm not sure if it's oda who wrote it or like i'm sure oda had some input but there was like an ace like a light novel i think that was written yeah i haven't read it or anything that's how popular ace is and just like seeing seeing him come back in the anime through the flashbacks whoa like he and tama look like really close like a brother sister kind of level it's like it's so cute he's like sitting sitting on his shoulders their village was already really poor, so they didn't have much to eat, and people die of starvation. He pretended that they were weak, and he just, he let them eat their fill, and it won't look like there's any pressure. It won't look suspicious that pirates are, like, giving them food. Like, he just pretended to be tied up and let them eat willingly, and then he comes out. He, like, easily burned those ropes, and he just, like... Hey, let's go grab a snack and he just bonded with everyone especially Tama it's really fun to see and it does not help that the flashback the animation includes like those soundtrack the soundtrack what you hear like during marine full actually like all the past arcs when they show like these flashback of happy times like when they use this soundtrack like just you just play me the soundtrack I'll just start I'll just start remembering I'll just I'm go I'm going back to the time where like Ace and Luffy were kids or something like <sighs> and I would say for this episode, the pace, even though the pacing has like a bit of slow time, it felt like a natural kind of slowness. Slowness, like sometimes, like when you see the slowness and it does it like three, three to five times, and you're like, what? <laughs> like, don't do that. But this one they used it well, cause like if you just like show 
like when it calls for silence and there actually is silence you hear like the trees rustling like the bells ringing then that's like a good use of it you know like or like oh the shock was so great you can like see it shows like a reaction and then it shows like stillness and like different types of symbolism kind of when they do that then it's in good taste i like it hitetsu keeps like hinting that they're waiting for someone and like in First thing in my mind is like Kimon. Didn't actually say we got to see, but like it's most likely Kimon. Yeah, when she said she was waiting someone, I was like, wait, Kimon? And then like boom, it showed like a picture of Ace. And I was like, oh yes, I'm stupid. How did I like forget this? Like I didn't forget. It's just not on the top of my head. But once you showed me like hints, I'm like, oh yeah, that and that and that happened. And right now she's like heartbroken, learning that Ace died, and she's like physically poisoned by the river there's only so much an eight-year-old girl can take hell she just turned eight it's her birthday happy birthday tama and uh that's pretty much it for this reaction with that being said thank you so much for watching please leave me your comments and questions down below i'll be sure to read them and see you guys for the next one peace out